Brothers and sisters, I'm coming to you with a, a warning and warning other people who are not my brothers and sisters to turn to the Lord, repent and turn to the Lord in truth. And I have some scriptures that the Lord led me to today. They're mostly all from Ezekiel. You plan to leave your home in the far north. He's talking about Gog and Magog. You and many nations with you. A great army of countless troops all mounted. You plan to invade Israel, my people. You will be like a cloud covering the earth. I myself am going to bring you in days to come to attack my country so that the nations may learn what I am when I have used you, Gog, to display my holiness to them. So you guys remember that, you know, it says in the scriptures that um, a lot of us are going to be, we're going to be persecuted and brought before the kings and governors, and some of us will, will lay down our lives in these, um, when we're in captivity, you know, and so I've seen these dreams where I'm in this jail, and you guys don't be, um, don't be afraid of if you have, if we have to put your, put our lives down, you know, don't worry because, um, you, if you lay your life down for Jesus Christ, you will get your robe. You will be a saint and you will be raised up again and you will take your place in the kingdom. And then there was... Oh, yeah, this is what the Lord led me to yesterday. O oh, son of man, say to the Israelites, you complain we are burdened by our sins and offenses. We are pining away because of them and despair of life. Tell them, as I live, says the Lord God, I have no desire for the death of the wicked. I should rather, I would rather that the wicked should mend their ways and live. Give them up. Give up your evil ways is Israelites, why should you die? Son of man, say to your fellow countrymen, when a righteous person transgresses, his righteous will not save him. When a wicked person mends his ways, his former wickedness will not bring him down. So he's talking about our people, you guys. He's talking about Israel, his holy chosen people, his holy people, his called people. So it doesn't matter what you've done in the past, you guys, as long as you repent. And that's what I've been praying for, that everybody be given a repentant heart. Now this is where it gets interesting, where the scriptures that you showed me. It says, To Ben-Hadad's messengers, say, to my lord the king. This is First Kings chapter 20. Say to the lord my king, all you first required of your servant I will do, but this I cannot do. And the messengers went back with the answer. Ben-Hadad then sent him the following message. May the gods do this to me and more, if there are enough handfuls of rubble in Samaria for all the people in my following. But the king of Israel returned this answer. The proverb says, The man who puts on his armor is not the one who can boast, but the man who takes it off. When Ben-Hadad heard this message, he was under the awnings drinking with the kings. He gave orders to his servants, Take post, and they took up their positions against the city. So you guys read First Kings chapter 20, and you can read this in context and see what was going on. 
1 Kings 20. Now, and then, after, right after that, the Holy Spirit led me to this. Next, a watcher, a holy one, came down from heaven. At the top of his voice he shouted, Cut the tree down, lop off its branches, strip off its leaves, throw away its fruit. Let the animals flee from its shelter, and the birds from its branches, but leave stump and roots in the ground, bound with hoops of iron and bronze in the grass of the field. Let him be drenched with the dew of heaven. Let him share the grass of the earth with the animals. Let his heart turn from mankind. Let a beast's heart, let a beast's heart be given to him, and seven times pass over him. Such is the sentence proclaimed by the watchers, the verdict announced by the holy ones, that every living thing may learn that the Most High rules over a kingship of men, and confers it on whom he pleases, and raises the lowest of mankind. So you guys, what, what the Father, what the Holy Spirit is telling me is that this thing is about to happen, you guys, and please take it seriously, and repent. Just repent, you guys, and do what Je follow in Jesus' footsteps. Be like our Father. Be like Jesus. And follow in their ways. It says in the scriptures that we should be like Him. So we should act like Him too. And that doesn't mean that we're going to be flawless, you guys. That's why we have the blood of the Lamb. I love you guys.